All right, so this is the part three of the reversible holiday sign series, I guess. So for this part, I'm going to put on my fall um, stencil with the reusable um, stencils that I made a couple, whoops, a couple videos ago. So I made these stencils with some craft plastic. So if you need to know how to make these, um, go check out the video on how to make rever or I'm sorry, re reusable stencils. So that will help you. So um, once you have your stencils made, what you'll need for this is you'll need some easy tack. So you're going to want to use this to stick your stencil to the board. You're going to need your scraping tool. I don't really think you actually need it for anything, but I just like to have it handy. Scissors just in case and um, weeding tool just in case. I might have called this my weeding tool, but this is my scraper. So, um, so just have your normal tools just in case. Um, obviously some paint, of course. I have some more colors over here for the leaves. And this all has paint on it because I've used them already. So, um, Yours probably look all nice and clean and mine are a little a little jacked up already So I'm gonna go put some easy tack on these and let's get started All right, so I have easy tack on all of my stencils so you can kind of see it gives it that like speckly filmy um, Texture so I forgot also I'm gonna need my paint brushes. I'm using some foam paint brushes um, And I also have some stenciling paint brushes. I'm interested to use um with these in particular because since these are plastic you have to be a little bit more careful when you're stenciling so I'm just gonna get my paint ready all right so first I'm gonna start sticking my stencils So I drew a little line up here um, just so I can make sure this is kind of consistent with the one that's on the other side. So I think that's good. So I'm just going to stick it down. So remember this has easy tack on it so it's a little sticky so it's going to stick. So then we'll put the F down for fall. Actually, it works a little bit better if you get behind it. And right now I'm just going to place these That looks pretty good. All right, so let's see how that looks from above. Looks good to me. I think this is a little crooked. And this is the nice part too with this easy tack. It's supposed to be um, like repositionable. So if you don't get it right the first time, you can just move it. All right, so we have our stencil ready to go. So now we can just start painting. I'm gonna, all right, so I think I'm actually going to try one of these other brushes, not this one, it's wet, because um, this isn't too big, so I think this will just be a little bit easier to work with, so I'm going to do some yellow. And I'm going to just do a really light layer first. With the plastic stencils, you do have to be a little bit more uh, gentle just because they're not as adhesive as the uh, vinyl, but you'll get, you'll get used to them. I'm making this sign for my friend Katie Bresden. I 
Again, I'm just doing a light coat right now and I'll go back after and fill it in a little bit more. I love this stencil brush. This is actually really awesome. I wish I had more more uh, colors of these. I mean, sizes, not colors. It's been a long day. Long day of crafting. And if you are doing this with vinyl, that's cool too. You could do this with vinyl. You could do this with this plastic. I have a friend who just, she traces out of, she'll like trace out of like cardstock and then she'll paint like freehand because she's super freaking talented, amazing. I'm anxious to see what this is going to look like because I've never used this brush before. So good time to test it out, right? When I'm doing a tutorial. <laughs> All right. Let's pull this bad boy up. Oh. Another thing actually you might want when you are using these stencils because the paint is going to be wet and you obviously don't want to throw these away. I have an extra paper plate. I'm just going to throw over here so I can put the wet stencils. Let's see how this turned out, guys. I'm scared. Ooh, we got a little bit of bleeding, but that's okay. We could fix that with a smaller uh, paintbrush. And we got a little drippage from the uh, stencil. That's okay. We can go back with a Q-tip and kind of clean it up a little later. But for the most part, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to touch it up real quick. So I'm just connecting the lines up here with the A and the H. I will say you will get, you know, some really crispy lines with vinyl, but I love, I just love using this, re, I love this reusable plastic, so I'm not wasting so much vinyl. And, I, and it's, and it looks just as good. You just got to do a little bit more work, but that's fine. And you should connect the lines too while the paint is still a little bit wet. You don't want to do it and it's too dry. Because then it's not as like flexible. All right, so we have our happy up here. So that part's done. So now we're gonna do our F and we're gonna do a couple leaves up here. And honestly, you guys, I really, really think that, that you know, this, I like this paint, this Craft, Craft Smart paint, but it's so runny that I feel like with this plastic stencil, it, um, it seeps through the cracks a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a light coat of this yellow for this yellow leaf. I'm going to do some orange for the orange leaf up here. The nice thing about leaving the paint on is I remember what colors these are supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, it's yellow. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this F up here. Start with a light coat, and I'm just going to brush down. Again, you don't need a ton of paint at first. I, I like putting a lighter coat on. I feel like it kind of locks in the edges a little bit more. Does it really do that? I don't know, but...
And just remember, you don't want to go over that edge right down here because you don't want to get paint on your board. But again, with this acrylic paint, it is so easy to just take a Q-tip and just wipe it off with some water. Or you can always touch it up with a little like stain or something, you know, it's that's a, that's the beauty about ha things that are handmade. They have, you know, some handmade human error touches. <laughs> Doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so go back and do the leaves another coat. Do the yellow leaf. Let that dry for a second, and then I'll go back with another coat. And let's just touch this up up here. A little drippage from the wet stencil. Alright, go back and do one more coat of this white. Go over these leaves just like one more little time. All right, so now we're gonna pull up our F. Oops, don't wanna get yellow on that. And um, there's no real trick to pulling these off. You just kind of find a corner. Got a little bleeding right there, but that's fine. We can clean that up super easily. So I like to always have some Q-tips handy and just no big deal. And that's another reason why I want to do these is because even though all my, you know, some of my stuff might look super on point, it looks like nothing has any errors trust me things happen like I said in one of my posts before crafting is not predictable doesn't care doesn't care if you have a client or a deadline so just don't beat yourself up it's all fixable not a big deal at all. So now we're going to go down and do this A. Stencil is lifted a little bit right here. I don't know why. Peel it up and try and position it again. There. I think they just have like a little air bubble. Alright, so we're going to do a yellow leaf. Here. Like before, if I would have, if that would have like bled right there, and I was videotaping, I would have been. Oh, shoot, I got yellow on that one. Let's get a different brush. I would have just stopped recording, been really upset, and you know, not. I, you know, you don't. That's the thing too, it's like, right? It's like we don't post things that don't look perfect, but guess what? I'm a human being and I'm learning this with you guys. I am no better than anybody else. So just don't beat yourself up. Everything is fixable for the most part.
Oop. Sorry, guys. All right, another moment of truth. We'll peel this one up. Yeah. See, and this one's perfect and sharp, and I did nothing different. So, you know, it just happens. So we got this A, so now I'm gonna wanna fix the middle of that A, or not the middle, the connecty part. So I'm just going to take a brush and just connect the lines. See? You wouldn't even know. All right. So now let's finish up these two L's down here. So we're going to finish up. So we've got our F, our A, our L's, and our L's, and our leaves. So now we're going to finish up with this pumpkin. So. What I'm gonna use for this is I'm gonna use, I think I have a big foam brush I wanna use. So I got these big foam brushes from Home Depot also, the foam brush set. So it has these bigger ones because I'm gonna just do this whole pumpkin orange. I think it looks really pretty. So what I wanna do for this pumpkin is because I have these little dainty little parts down here, I'm gonna brush up because I don't want to snag those. I don't want to brush down and risk snagging them, but you also need to be careful about these ones up here. So it's a little, you just got to be gentle. And again, you could put whatever you want at the bottom. You don't even have to put, you could put happy fall y'all. I'm not much of a y'all person, honestly. So um, I didn't want to put that, but you could do that. No, you know, no judgment. You could do a little that you could do some a trigger oops see I just snagged that one um, you could do like a little trigger treat bag you could do whatever you want all right I think I'm gonna put a little bit there on the side all right so for this too I want to make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from the bottom I don't want to pull from the top because I want these little lines to come up first. Okay. So we got our pumpkin. Um, let's see. It says yellow paint on it, but just wanna, this line got a little sad, so I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit and when this all dries it tends to blend a little bit better together so see nothing a little q-tip can't fix honestly so now we have our beautiful fall sign or a reversible sign. 